Hey, what's going on guys? Oz here. This is episode number two of Double Kim Strikes with Every Gun. I've actually expanded this to include the light machine guns as well. I totally forgot about them. <laughs> uh, so we're doing ARs, SMGs, and light machine gun double kims. Just This is not to showcase any type of skill or anything because, I mean, I'm just sitting here camped up by their spawn, uh, shooting them as they pop up, basically, and just using a little bit of spawn and map knowledge to rotate so I don't get too predictable. That's really all it, all it was here in... Uh, Luckily, I was able to get a lobby where I can win some gunfights. So, anyways, uh, the M27 light machine gun, the best light machine gun is what you should call it. Um, it's got really high damage, no recoil. It's really a laser beam, perfect iron sights. I love the iron sights on this thing. You don't need any type of red dot, holographic, none of that stuff. You don't even need the little thermal. To be honest, this thing is clear as day. Um, and I like the fact that it's got the little moon shape to it. You know, it doesn't have the full circle, um, you know, going all the way around. That way, the sight is not obstructing your view when you're scoped in. And that's really a positive for me. Uh, this map, Freefall, I mean, this is pretty much what it comes down to. There's so many angles uh, for posting up. It's really not a rushing map. Uh, I'm, you know, you can put on the, the Bulldog and stuff. And I guess you can be pretty successful doing that if you're playing against bums. But most of the time, sorry, you can hear like the cars passing by here in my commentary. I live right next to a street, like this main street, and it's really annoying when it gets hot and I have to open the windows. But, you know, free fall, most of the time you're going to run up against dudes who are camping anyway. So if you try to run around with a bulldog, they're going to pick you off. Um, and then when they do spawn in, they're, you know, they're spawning out in the open. And if they have an AR, they're just going to shoot you down really quick. And by the time you get over to their spawn, they're going to be waiting on you, like I said. So... Yeah, this is one of those post-up maps, unfortunately, but that's why the light machine gun shines. That's why I'm using it here. I mean, you can just see how I'm destroying these dudes. The light machine gun setup I'm using, I'm using Deadeye to start. When you, compi when you combine these light machine guns with Deadeye, they're really devastating. Um, it feels like a two-bullet kill, almost. Actually, a three-shot almost any single distance. Um, you're not going to lose very many gunfights as long as you're scoped in. Now, right here's the first Kim. Um... As long as you're scoped in with the light machine gun, it's it's you're not gonna lose. Okay, the problem comes is when you start trying to run around and your sights are down and you have to raise up because these have really raise up, these have slow raise up times. You're not gonna be killing anybody off of a sprint. So always use stalker on your light machine gun. That's what I got on. Um, I like dead silence as well. I'm not using amplify anywhere in this setup as far as I can remember. Ooh, look at this nice spray, man. I just picked them all off right here. Pretty beast. Um, but yeah, guys, I've started out with the SMGs, and SMGs, man, th this is going to be a real challenge for me, and that's why I like challenges. Uh, the submachine guns, trying to get gameplays, or, you know, just drop chem strikes in general with the submachine guns isn't easy for me. Just because I, I feel like there's so many angles in the game that are better suited for, like, LMGs and ARs, and uh, the time to kill from anywhere other than up close to somebody's face is absolutely atrocious you start using things like the vepper which i tried using i tried vepper with the uh not long barrel but it's a thing called muzzle break i tried vepper with the muzzle break man it's a hit marker machine i i was just spraying people with 10 bullets just getting nothing but hit markers with that thing and you know uh i gotta figure out you know how i'm gonna get these challenges done but uh, yeah, some of these other maps, I'm just going to, you know, if I get a long range map, I'm going to first start out using some of these LMGs and ARs and get some of those out the way. I also completed the AK-12 challenge. Um, I got my double with that one, of course. You guys already knew. I've, I've had a million doubles with the AK anyways. Uh, dang near triple, triple chem strikes and stuff. Um, and, of course, I do have a honey badger as well, but I'm not counting that one. So... Perks to use on this bad boy. I already mentioned Deadeye. Um, you definitely want to have Deadeye. You definitely want to have Stalker. Be real slippery, sliding around the corners, moving real slow, uh, just in in anticipating people. Slurring my words here, stuttering. <laughs> but yeah, just anticipate these people. Um, I like Dead Silence because even though you could be, you know, creeping around the corner, you're still gonna get hit um, by sound whores. So definitely have your Dead Silence on there. Ping helps a lot on the light machine guns when you do this because if you you're strafing around, you kill one dude, and the next guy will show up on the ping, and you know to continue aiming down sight and not drop your sight, because the minute you drop your sight, you're screwed, you're going to instantly die. So, 
I think the final score on this one, guys, was 122 specialist kills. Um, so we got the 100 plus non-lethal. It's pretty dang sweet for free fall. Um, M27 is done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Episode 2.